The metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor is a type of transistor used for amplifying or switching electronic signals. Although the MOSFET is a four-terminal device with source, gate, drain, and body terminals, the body of the MOSFET is often connected to the source terminal, making it a three-terminal device like other field effect transistors. Because these two terminals are normally connected to each other internally, only three terminals appear in electrical diagrams. The MOSFET is by far the most common transistor in both digital and analog circuits. Though the bipolar junction transistor was at one time much more common, the main advantage of a MOSFET over a regular transistor is that it requires very little current to turn on, while delivering a much higher current to a load. The term, enhancement mode, refers to the increase of conductivity with increase in oxide field that adds carriers to the channel, also referred to as the inversion layer. The channel can contain electrons, or holes, opposite in type to the substrate, so NMOS is made with a P-type substrate, and PMOS with an N-type substrate. In the less common depletion mode MOSFET, detailed later on, the channel consists of carriers in a surface impurity layer of opposite type to the substrate, and conductivity is decreased by application of a field that depletes carriers from this surface layer. The metal in the name MOSFET is now often a misnomer because the previously metal gate material is now often a layer of polysilicone. Aluminium had been the gate material until the mid-1970s when polysilicone became dominant due to its capability to form self-aligned gates. Metallic gates are regaining popularity, since it is difficult to increase the speed of operation of transistors without metal gates. Likewise, the oxide in the name can be a misnomer, as different dielectric materials are used with the aim of obtaining strong channels with smaller applied voltages. An insulated gate field effect transistor or IGFET is a related term almost synonymous with MOSFET. The term may be more inclusive, since many MOSFETs use a gate that is not metal and a gate insulator that is not oxide. Another synonym is MISFET for metal insulator semiconductor FET. The basic principle of the field effect transistor was first patented by Julius Edgar Lilly and Feld in 1925. Composition. Usually the semiconductor of choice is silicon, but some chip manufacturers, most notably IBM and Intel, recently started using a chemical compound of silicon and germanium in MOSFET channels. Unfortunately, many semiconductors with better electrical properties than silicon, such as gallium arsenide, do not form good semiconductor to insulator interfaces, and thus are not suitable for MOSFETs. Research continues on creating insulators with acceptable electrical characteristics on other semiconductor material, in order to overcome the increase in power consumption due to gate current leakage. A high kappa dielectric is used instead of silicon dioxide for the gate insulator, while polysilicone is replaced by metal gates. The gate is separated from the channel by a thin insulating layer, traditionally of silicon dioxide and later of silicon oxonitride. Some companies have started to introduce a high kappa dielectric plus metal gate combination in the 45 nanometer node, when a voltage is applied between the gate and body terminals. The electric field generated penetrates through the oxide and creates an inversion layer or channel at the semiconductor insulator interface. The inversion channel is of the same type, P-type or N-type, as the source and drain, and thus it provides a channel through which current can pass. Varying the voltage between the gate and body modulates the conductivity of this layer and thereby controls the current flow between drain in source. This is known as enhancement mode. Circuit symbols. A variety of symbols are used for the MOSFET. The basic design is generally aligned for the channel with the source and drain leaving it at right angles and then bending back at right angles into the same direction as the channel. Sometimes three line segments are used for enhancement mode and a solid line for depletion mode. Another line is drawn parallel to the channel for the gate. 
the bulb or body connection, if shown, is shown connected to the back of the channel with an arrow indicating PMOS or NMOS. Arrows always point from P to N, so an NMOS has the arrow pointing in. If the bulk is connected to the source it is sometimes angled to meet up with the source leaving the transistor. If the bulk is not shown an inversion symbol is sometimes used to indicate PMOS. Alternatively an arrow on the source may be used in the same way as for bipolar transistors. Comparison of enhancement mode and depletion mode MOSFET symbols, along with JFET symbols. The orientation of the symbols is such that more positive voltages appear higher on the page than less positive voltages, implying current flowing down the page. In schematics where G, S, D are not labeled, the detailed features of the symbol indicate which terminal is source and which is drain. For enhancement mode and depletion mode MOSFET symbols, the source terminal is the one connected to the triangle. Additionally, in this diagram, the gate is shown as an L shape, whose input leg is closer to S than D, also indicating which is which. However, these symbols are often drawn with a T-shaped gate, so it is the triangle which must be relied upon to indicate the source terminal. For the symbols in which the bulk or body terminal is shown, it is here shown internally connected to the source. This is a typical configuration, but by no means the only important configuration. In general, the MOSFET is a four-terminal device, and in integrated circuits many of the MOSFETs share a body connection, not necessarily connected to the source terminals of all the transistors.